guys, today um, I've just arrived home from work and I got this in the post. Um, normally I wouldn't review something like this in a video. Um, I was definitely gonna review it on my blog when it arrived, but it looks so cool, I thought I would actually show you it in a video as well. I think it's the kind of thing that's gonna lend itself a little bit better to video as well. It's basically create your own nail polish, which I'm all about nail polish and anything custom. Um, so if you kind of are into that as well, I think you might be interested. We'll see how easy it is. It might be really terrible, um, but it's from Palette London. Looks like this on the inside. Um, so you get two totally empty, I don't know if you can see the balls, there's some like ball bearings rolling around at the bottom of there. Two totally empty um, nail polish bottles and then some core colours to mix together. There are also kind of like a guide of, of colours that you can put together to, to make colours that you might want. And they sent me two of their pre-made nail polishes that they made as well, um, which are in nearly nude and sunset orange so that's what they look like um but i can't wait to give this a go so i thought i would just sit down i haven't even taken my jacket off um i would sit down and give this a go on camera for those of you that maybe might be interested in this i think it sounds really cool but um usually these things don't turn out to be as fun and potentially good uh, as they seem like they might be so we shall see colours and five pipettes, uh, which is pretty good because you can kind of just make sure that you're not overlapping and mixing colours together that you don't want to do. Um, she did say, the woman that contacted me about this via email, she did say that a lot of people find that the pipettes can be um, a little bit too slow. If you've got to fill an entire bottle, up, although it's small, um, that could get really annoying after a while. Um, so most people ended up free pouring and to bear that in mind. So I may do that, we'll see how messy it is. Um, but let's get on with it. On the back it did actually also have some other colours, um, some kind of glossy indicator colours. I don't know if you can see that they're glossy, there we go. Uh, glossy colour indicators as to the kind of colour that you can create and a little bit of a how-to guide. So we shall see, I'm going to give it a go. not quite as easy as it may seem. Um, not all that difficult and actually not that messy. It got a tiny little bit um, of white kind of overlap on the bottle of the yellow one here, but really not that messy at all, even with free pouring, which is definitely easier than using the pipettes. Although the pipettes took up more nail polish than I expected. Um, I feel like half of it was left on the inside of the tube, if you look at this one. The hardest thing is shaking them up, because even several minutes later, I've, I've painted my nails and everything, um, and given these quite a shake and a bit of time to settle and it's really difficult to get them to look totally 100% mixed up together. Um, another thing I have tested out the other colour which was, what colour was it? Um, the nearly nude on this hand just to see how it compares formula wise. Um, and this one was much much nicer to apply than the one that I made. The one that I made was quite thick and gloopy. It was okay um, but it was much more difficult to apply. Really fun kind of thing um, to play around with if you're into that kind of thing, if you want something a bit more custom. But ultimately, something that you could do by picking up a few different nail polish bottles at the supermarket. It's fun and it'd be a nice gift, but not something that I would choose to buy for myself again. Especially because half these colours I wouldn't even use. I don't use a lot of dark nail polishes, so I wouldn't pick necessarily the black to add to anything. Um, and so some of them might just be completely wasted. I, I would want more white in my kit as well. 
Um, so yeah, I hope that you liked this impromptu bonus video this week, um, but I wanted to put it up there for kind of first impressions and I just thought it was such a fun kit and it's the kind of thing that would definitely catch my eye to buy for myself. Um, so for those of you that maybe saw it or would see it in the future, I wanted to give you um, my opinion and my kind of first impressions. But like I say, this is, I've just, just used it, so I can't tell you how long it lasts, um, just how easy it is to use initially. Um, so I will see you guys next week for some regular kind of videos. Bye!